Where are you? Oh my gosh, there's one. I can see a cruiser out. Oh my gosh. So let's figure out exactly how many gallons are in this sucker. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog from inside Bowser's tank. That's right, the big task for today is to get Bowser's tank running. And to do that, I am actually off to the airport to pick up a friend of mine. I cannot wait to share with you who's coming in. I was super excited when I asked him and he said, yes, I'll come help you. And today was the day I was really waiting for. I mean, this is the centerpiece when you walk into the Reptarium. So we want this to look absolutely amazing. Not to mention the sound of these waterfalls is gonna be great. I cannot wait and I have my fingers cross that is gonna go absolutely amazing but before we do that I wanted to share these babies with you oh my gosh I actually showed you guys in the incubator a couple days ago but now they're all out holy moly and these of course are super stripe spinner red stripes and I think that is a world's first for sure I've never seen any of them again a super stripe which is a specter yellow belly then it's a spider a spinner and a red stripe oh my gosh the thing that's crazy is there's a lot of polymorphism within them. These are all the exact same animal here. These are all super stripe red stripe spinners. And you can see how different they look, but they're absolutely incredible. But this animal right here blew me away. And this is an example of sometimes less genes are actually more insane. This is of course a super stripe red stripe spider ball python. Again, I think it's a world's first. I, I don't really follow that stuff that close. It doesn't even really mean that much to me. It's just cool to produce the animals. Take a look at that. Again, a super stripe spider red stripe. Who doggy? These things are absolutely incredible. Oh, and by the way, well, we're gonna keep on throwing out cool stuff. This would just be a super stripe red stripe. Again, I'm not sure that anyone's ever produced a super stripe red stripe before. So if not, that's another world's first. So there's a chance we just hit three worlds first today. I'm not 100% sure. You guys in the comments can tell me if I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, it's no problem. As a matter of fact, if I'm wrong, put in the comments who produced them and I'll give them some credit in the future. In the meantime, I am just loving these little guys. And before I head off to the airport to pick up my mystery guest, I do have another litter of baby snakes that I am excited about. Of course, this is a John Eye or an Indian Samboa, and we have a few of these gravid, and this girl just had some babies, and you guys are gonna freak out about how big these babies are. Where are you? Oh my gosh, there's one. I can see a cruise around. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Oh, isn't it crazy how big they are? And they are so absolutely big beautiful oh my gosh here's another look at this one oh my gosh there's more look at it's like those little monsters from the movie tremor oh there's some more over here okay I'm gonna go get a box and let's get these out of here so there's two of these little babies here look at how crazy cool they are three little babies oh my gosh oh don't go away guys stay 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 three there's one way back in the back over here there's four babies and these typically only have between four and six babies typically so I don't expect to find too many more to be totally honest with you let's see what we can find oh there's another one right here oh, where'd you go where'd you go all right so that's five babies right there oh there's another one right here six babies whoa looks like that's it guys six little babies and again the male on this is a sunset that's why you see these beautiful orange babies like this now the normal John are gonna be pretty orange as babies too but not quite as brilliant as these and these guys should stay pretty awesome how amazing six little baby sand balls. oh my god I am so excited all right let's go ahead and wrap up and head to the airport and pick up my buddy and look who it is, guys. It's Rice, my boy Joey. What's up, man? Good to see you, my yeah, man. You How the heck are you, man? You ready? Thank I'm you ready. so much for coming, yeah, dude. Yeah, my pleasure. Ah, oh, it's awesome. All right, we are off to the shop. That's right. I'm so excited that Joey came in to help me out. So here we are at the Reptarium, dude. So this is the project for the day. This is obviously gonna be our big snapping turtle's gonna go in here. I uh, got the ports down here. I have no idea anything about this. I'm sure you do. I don't know what's going on. There's like three waterfalls over here. Right. Now, you wanna hear the bad news? The bad news is, is that I kind of blocked you in a little bit over here where there's not a lot of space. <laughs> Only little, it's fun. <laughs> it's, but we can, we, can cut away all, we can cut away anything you need. Again, the waterfalls are up here, uh, you know, whatever. So uh, you tell me what you need. And uh, right. so this is it, man. This is my uh, my dream come true. Last time Joey was here, I had just really moved into the building next door. With you were there here. and you yep. talked about 
one day you were thinking about turning this into like a mini zoo. I was yeah. not expecting this. I yeah. was expecting what I have. Listen, I want to get up to your place because your place, your yeah. gallery is amazing. And by the way, you guys know Joey, obviously, king of DIY. That was the surprise, the person coming in. I will obviously put all the links to all his stuff. His YouTube channel is amazing. Just hit a million subscribers, which yeah. I'm super proud of him for that. His Instagram and everything. All the links will be down in the description. Joey flew all the way from Canada just to help me out. And, uh, and trust me, I was uh, like, I hate to say this pun here, a fish out of water, because I know <laughs> nothing about plumbing. So uh, I can't thank Joey enough. Please show him some love, tell him I sent you. Uh, we've got a work cut out for us today, Joey. Yeah, a little bit. So you are having a live animal in here, and just because it's not fish doesn't mean it doesn't need filtration. And it looks like what you've chosen to do here is run it with four canister filters. These are really popular in the aquarium hobby, a really popular method of filtration. We need these to do two things. One, filter the water. Two, feed the waterfalls. So if we look on the inside here, we can see the inputs. We're gonna be sucking through three of those because we got three individual canister filters. I think each canister filter is rated for 400 gallons. This is an 800 gallon pond. So you've got about 50% more filtration than you need. What gets pretty interesting is how these waterfalls are fed. If you look at these return lines, each one goes up through 3D crevices here and drop down on the bottom. So it's a really basic setup. We're gonna suck from those bottom holes that we've seen earlier and then pump up back up through here. There's four returns, one will be split. There's a bulkhead here so we can make sure that the flow is going evenly to them. Pretty much it. It's not as complicated as it looks if you've done this a few times. It might sound complicated now, but once it's up and running and in action, you're gonna see how simple this is. It's gonna be absolutely stunning. Yeah, and he says that it's simple, but I would, uh, it's like he said, oh, this will take me like 20 minutes. I would take like three days, like completely confused. You know, throw me in with a black mamba, I'm in good shape. <laughs> uh, throw me in with filtration, I don't know. So I'm so, so grateful that Joey flew all this way to help me out because if not, uh, the zoo wouldn't open this week. So thank you, Joey. Let's no worries. <laughs> Got two more aquariums here and then another one on the other side that are drilled through the bases of the aquarium. One inch holes where you need one inch bulkheads. We're gonna have to go find some of those. Then we gotta figure out a way to connect the canisters to filters through the bottom because typically with those, we come up over the lip of the tank Water sucks from the bottom, goes to the canister, returns over the top, but you're only gonna have about this much water. These are turtle tanks? Yeah, turtle tanks. Yeah. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yes, that's one. Yeah, okay. Raphael's going in that one. <laughs> we're only gonna have this much water in it, and we're gonna come up through the bottom, but that means we really don't need much plumbing on the inside. We just need to come up with some way to screen so the turtles don't get sucked in. All right, so we've got some work. We're gonna actually head over to my buddy Steve Bashy's to try to find some fittings and stuff like that. Get back here and uh, let Joey do his magic. So me and Joey are actually heading to my friend Steve Bashy's place just to get all the fittings, bulkheads, whatever jargon he's talking about with aquarium stuff. I'm not sure exactly what he means, but we're going there and I guess we're getting a bunch of stuff, right Joey? Yeah, you know, when it comes to like aquarium fittings, a lot of times you have to order the man or know a really good pet store to go to. I don't think we have anything that on a whim like no, this, no. but luckily you're friends with Steve Bashy and we know he's got it. So we're gonna go steal a bunch of stuff from him. How cool is this? I mean, that is awesome. I need to do like a snake or something like that on my building just like this. And there's actually backlighting to this, so at night you can change it to red, blue, white, whatever it is. Leave it to Steve to come up with something like this. I absolutely love this place. I mean, it is cool. Take a look, drum sets up here. What is going on? And there he is, hiding behind the mess. The man, the legend. What's up, bro? What's going on, dude, man? What's going on, man? Not good. Good. Just just here to steal a bunch of stuff, you know? I don't want it. Joey, what we're here for is just what? Bulkheads. Bulkheads. Some uh, hose adapters. Well, it's nice to have a friend like Steve that has a place like this. It's the first time I saw the shark, by the way. That thing is oh, ridiculous. Yeah, that thing oh, is my sweet. God. Isn't that awesome? Oh, my God. This place is cool. Oh, there's a basketball net over here. What? What? Do you guys ever work? Uh, not this year. Not this year? Not this yeah. Year. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, look at this up here. Holy cow, I need this in the reptarium. And for guys like Joey, this is like, <laughs> this is just, this is what he lives for. Things like this. So that's pretty cool. That's actually a laser of the top of the life support that we're actually going to be doing here at Bashy Aquatics. I'm so lucky to have a friend like Steve. Now we're just getting all the parts ready for whatever we need for the turtle tanks and the big Bowser tank. So I'm letting Steve and Joey kind of hash this one out because again, I don't know what I'm doing here. So we ran into our first problem. I called up Stuart and he told me that we had one inch holes drilled in the tanks for the one inch bulkheads. But uh, 
Yeah, so these are one inch bulkheads. And what I thought you had said was uh, the holes are for one inch bulkheads. And, th and by the way, that is what he said. Yeah, they're one inch bulkheads. So we went and picked up one inch bulkheads. These are not, the holes are just too small. Probably should have measured them before we ran over to Steve's. A little secret, I did measure them, but uh, obviously I didn't do a good job. So so now we- We need three quarter inch bulkheads. We need three quarter inch bulkheads for these. So guess what? We're gonna work on Bowser's tank tonight. Uh, the turtle tanks are gonna have to wait. That's just the way it goes. But hopefully maybe tomorrow morning I can run over before Joey leaves or whatever the case. We'll get these guys up and running so that they're running when we open up on the 21st. But uh, oh well, you knew it wasn't gonna go perfect. But in the reality, Bowser was what I was really worried about. So we're gonna move on to that. I'll right. get that. Sure. Okay, good. Two in, one to go, and then we're gonna work on the inputs. But uh, you're gonna like the way this is set up. You're gonna be able to fine tune those waterfalls perfectly. What happens is uh, water is gonna be sucked through the bottom here. Uh, it's gonna pro be processed in the canister filter and then pumped back up to the waterfalls where it drips back down into the main. I'm gonna call it an aquarium because that's what it should be. <laughs> All right, we'll call it an aquarium, <laughs> even though it's a turtle area. <laughs> turtle area. <laughs> So Joey, this is the important part, making sure nothing leaks and all that good stuff, huh? Yeah, we only need access to three of these holes because there's three filters. And it looks as though the entire enclosure kind of slants down this way. Yeah. So all of the turtle's waste is probably gonna go down in this direction anyway, so this will get sucked up by the filters. Well, Joey's kind of fixing up Bowser's tank. We've got some help here. You remember Corey from the original build? He was out there. He actually responsible for the entrance. Brother and sister-in-law are here to help, which is absolutely awesome. And we're actually starting to put the fronts on. I know it doesn't look like much now. We've got a little kick plate down here. Uh, got a lot and a lot of work to do to fill all this in. We're just getting started. It's probably gonna take us two or three days to finish this out, but this is definitely the next huge job. Once this is done, it's really gonna start looking like it's coming together. So Joey just gave me the good news. He said it is ready for water. We're gonna go ahead and fill up Bowser's Turtorarium. What'd you call it again? It's a an aquarium. The Terrarium? It's Tur an aquarium. You it's called a it turtle a turtle Turtorarium. <laughs> we're gonna fill up the Turtorarium <laughs> and uh, we're gonna see if this sucker works. I am super excited about this. This water is starting to fill. Uh, this is about what, seven, 800 gallons or I, we didn't really do the math, but uh, probably. I'll figure it out if you give me a measure tape. Oh yeah, I'll, let's let's figure out exactly how many gallons are in this sucker. 68 by 94 by 30. So if we multiply the length by height by width, we can get the cubic inches. Mm -hmm. Now there's 231 cubic inches to a gallon of water. So we multiply the length by height by width in inches, divided by 231, and we will get the gallons. 830 gallons approximately. This is probably closer to 900 based on a lot of crevices and, and different areas we didn't measure. So there you have it, 900 gallons. We estimated like seven to 800. We're only off like 100 gallons yeah, or so. so not to, <laughs> all right, so that means that's a, a lot of weight. Let's hope this, uh, this stays upstairs and doesn't eventually make a really rapid movement downstairs. It's probably capable of holding a thousand if you fill it to the brim. Okay, so we have a slight leak, but uh, Joey doesn't think it's anything major, right? No, I just gotta tighten up some things. Just tighten up some things? Yeah. That doesn't give me a lot of confidence. <laughs> he, does, But Joey doesn't seem upset or worried about it, so as long as he's all right, and, and he's been through just about everything with aquariums and turtlerariums, so uh, I think we're gonna be okay. All right, we're filling up so far, still no leaks. Fingers crossed. And there it is, guys. The waterfall is on. The water is filling up. Joey, you did an absolutely amazing job. Oh I know. My gosh. I know. <laughs> the thing I love about him is how modest he is. <laughs> Again, guys, I cannot thank Joey enough for this. This is amazing. Please go show him some love on his channel. You guys will not be disappointed. You know, he is just all around awesome. So, Joey, this this is amazing. I mean, this is the center point when you walk in the building. You know, we're going to have some lighting balloons. We're really trying to make it pop, but I tell you what, without this amazing waterfall, you know, this is amazing. I know, if you just think about it, in like one day from now, because I did everything, it's gonna leak. <laughs> oh crap, and now he's gonna go back. But ha you know what, I'll be, be back. Yeah, I'll be back. You're, you're gonna see me again. <laughs> yeah, and you'll again. see Joey again and again. No, this time, I know it's gonna be perfect, but oh my gosh, guys, is this amazing? Again, just give me, give me an idea. I'm gonna do this. I have to give you guys this perspective, all right? So you're literally walking into the rep tear, and there's gonna be a sign up here. The windows are gonna be graphic. You're gonna walk in. And that's the first thing you're gonna see. Oh my God. And of course, we're getting this going. As a matter of fact, I wanna show you this really quick. 
This is the first kind of idea of what it's gonna look like here. You're gonna have the rocks, the, the wood's gonna go up. You got the gloss black on the top and the bottom just to kind of make it a little bit more contemporary. So we have to do this for every single row down here. We've got our work cut out for us, but hey, it is coming together. Just a few more days, the 21st is right around the corner. Uh, I think that we're gonna make it, but we're gonna have to work our butts off, but that is awesome. So another night done, we have three and a half more days until the open, so it's coming up quick again, four o'clock on the 21st. We hope to be open. Tomorrow, I'll tell you 100% for sure. If anything goes wrong between now and tomorrow, I'll let you know. But for right now, the 21st at four o'clock, of course, the entire weekend from four to nine will be open. But what an amazing job Joey did. Again, I cannot thank him enough to fly all the way down here just to help me out. What a great guy. Please show him some love for me. And again, the pond is only halfway full. We figured we'd let it go for the night just to make sure there's no problems. Tomorrow, we'll fill it up the rest of the way. We'll give it a couple days so that the water gets a little warm so that when we put Bowser in, it's no shock to him. Although, you know, these guys are from water that gets really cold, but I don't want to have any problems with Bowser. Again, a lot left to do. We're just starting to do the rock, like I said here. So we have a lot of work with this. We have to still fixture off some cages. Of course, all of these cages need to be decorated and ready for animals. So we're getting there, people. Is it going to be tight? Yes, it is. Is it going to be completely done? No, it's not. But it's going to be done enough to be pretty awesome. And then if you come visit, it'll give you an excuse to come visit when it's completely done, like the gator tank in a couple weeks. Look at how amazing Perdita is up here. I love the fact that she's in that cage. I tell you what, guys, I couldn't be more excited with the way things are. It's going to be a busy few days, but hey, we're going to make it, and we're going to have an amazing weekend for the grand opening in the Reptarium. <laughs> with that said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. Again, another extremely long day, but it was an absolutely amazing day. I had a great time just hanging out with Joey. I know you guys that watch him. I absolutely love him. He's a truly great friend of mine, and I cannot thank him enough for coming. Regardless, you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Send positive vibes, because I am not going to sleep much in the next few days, and I got a lot of work to do, and I need all of your support that you possibly can do, because you guys are amazing, and I love you so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Turn on those post notifications so you know when I upload a video, which is every day at 9 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Remember to be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow, and we're going to get one step closer to the grand opening of the Reptarium. Thank you.